Welcome to, in case you Her missed story. it, God damn you! <laughs> While Samsung tried to turn out a Galaxy Note 7 replacement as quickly as possible, he probably missed how the Marines need a few good war fighting machines and U Penn's hella smart drones. Welcome to, in case you missed it, where using huge UAVs to do super fun things like water skiing isn't even the half of it. A researcher at the University of Pennsylvania is doing something brand new with quadcopters. He's taught a drone to fly through a 45 degree opening at top speed without relying on the sensors and cameras other UAVs usually use for similar tricks. Our system is able to traverse narrow gaps requiring accelerations up to 1.5 G and roll in pitch angles up to 90 degrees with velocities of 5 meters per second. This thing has just one onboard processor, a single camera, and a super fast algorithm that calculates its flight trajectory. What this means to us is that there will be no escape from future spy drones, which will come buzzing through the tiniest of openings. But hey, the science is cool. The science is cool. Okay. And with that last story, I got Uncle Sam's attention because the US Marine Corps wants to build better robots and is taking the bold step of asking its service members for advice. The focus is Marine Air Ground Task Force wide and suggestions are encouraged from all ranks and military occupational specialties. That is not usually how that relationship goes down. Oh, I, I am two seconds from being on you like white on rice and a glass of milk and a paper plate in a snowstorm. The Marines just announced the latest innovation challenge with the aim of designing and constructing robots to handle dull, dirty, or dangerous work, leaving humans free to deal with the more important tasks, like defending your freedom. JK, real Americans don't care about your right to peacefully protest, apparently. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. The FBI says everyone should tape over their webcams, stat. The ESA's Gaia satellite mapped its billionth Milky Way exoplanet. Apple's already sold out of the iPhone 7 Plus. HP bought Samsung's printer business for a billion dollars. Apple is in hot water regarding reported sexist shenanigans by staff members. And Jon Snow will play a villain in the next Call of Duty. He already plays constantly on my TV because I'm watching GOT for the second time.